Opportunities for Ohioans with Disabilities, Ohio College to Careers. Do you have a disability? We can help. We're Ohio College to Careers, a program of opportunities for Ohioans with disabilities. We offer free help with career planning, internship and employment placement, resume and interview prep, and more. Welcome to the Ohio College to Careers Career Development Toolkit, Applying for a Position episode. Greetings. I'm Chris Ray. I'm Dustin Schwab. We are Career Development Specialists with Ohio College to Careers. Thanks for joining us. We are offering several Career Development Toolkit episodes this semester to help with your entry into a new career or internship. In this episode, we will be discussing applying for a position. Chris, you and I have been in our current positions at OOD for about a year. I don't think I've ever asked you how you learned of this position. Actually, I received a suggestion to apply from LinkedIn. Uh, a great way to get job referrals is to use the job alert feature in your profile. LinkedIn used my past work experience, education, and content to suggest I may be a good candidate for the position here at OOD. And once I read the description, I agreed wholeheartedly. The rest is history. How, how did you learn about the position, Dustin? Well, since I already worked with people with disabilities, I occasionally looked at the positions that were available at OOD and other local organizations that serve people with disabilities. This approach worked for me because I already had a job and could wait for an opportunity that really appealed to me. However, this might not work for someone looking to find a career quickly. That's a good point. Applying for a position can be a bit more complex than that. Maybe we should discuss some ideas that we have for students searching and applying for careers. Yes. OK, so my first question, where should I start? The very beginning. I think it's important to start by thinking about the things you need and want in a position. Do you care what the schedule is? Are you looking for specific work tasks? Do you have a preferred location or locations? Are you interested in any specific employers? Like I said, I was interested in working for certain employers, so I browsed the open positions on their websites. What if I don't have a preference about working for a specific organization? Where should I look then? That's when you probably want to go to a website that allows you to search for open positions. There are many of these, including Indeed and Monster. The state of Ohio also hosts a site called Ohio Means Jobs. Sometimes you can find industry specific sites where you can browse available positions in that field. For example, governmentjobs.com allows you to search for government positions throughout the country. I feel like every time I start to search for positions, I get so many results. I have a hard time looking through all of them to find the jobs that interest me. Do you have any suggestions for that? Yeah, on many of them, you can use filters to see only jobs that meet those preferences that we talked about earlier. For example, you can usually filter by full-time or part-time positions. You can also filter by distance from a certain location and other things. If the opposite is happening and you're not finding enough positions, you might want to try other terms used in the field in which you are applying. For example, when you're looking for a management position, you might also search using keywords like supervisor or manager. OK, so I have a handful of position options that pop up. What's next? As I look through positions that sound like a good fit for me, I like to start by reviewing the minimum qualifications. If the employer is seeking someone with a specific certification that I don't have, then there is really no point in spending more time looking through the description or applying for that job. If I did not meet the minimum qualifications for a position, then I would most likely not apply unless it was a dream job. Once you do find that perfect match for you, it's important that you apply on the company's website rather than one of the job search sites. Uh, 
but sometimes it takes so much time to apply on a company's website. Do you have any suggestions to make sure I'm using that time wisely? Well, I'm not sure there's a way to make it take less time, but I do have some ideas to increase the effectiveness of your application, which maybe that will reduce the number of applications needed. First, you might want to make sure you tailor your resume and cover letter to the job description. Also, make sure you submit all the information the application requests. Don't give employers a reason to easily disqualify you. And along those lines, use an email address that sounds professional. Usually some combination of your name and initials is good. Okay, got it. Don't use my Save by the Bell fan email address. So when I finish applying for a job, am I done? Should I just wait for the employer to contact me? You're almost there. One thing I usually do is save a version of the job description, even if that means just copying and pasting it in an email to myself. That way you still have the information to prepare for an interview, even if the post has been removed from the website. This is great information. I'm excited about the idea of maximizing my time spent on applying for positions. Thank you for your help, Dustin. For additional career development topics, check out our other toolkit episodes and accompanying fact sheets on the OOD website at ood.ohio.gov forward slash tools. If you have any questions and are already connected with Ohio College to Careers, feel free to contact your counselor. If you would like to learn more about Ohio College to Careers, you can email college to, that's the number two, careers at ood.ohio.gov.